Okay, so um, this is a quick video to kind of run through this program I came across at the spsamplesite.com. It's basically a website that's dedicated to the PVSP and the SP Plus. And um, it, you know, they've got a bunch of great samples and things out there that are available to download. But uh, one of the things that I immediately came across is the fact that, of course, how do you get these files that are in these zips onto a PV? So I, uh, there is a program that's called, um, I guess it's called SP Disk or it's SP Write and Read. And essentially what it does is it's a program that will, it's a DOS app that will take these files and essentially write them to a floppy disk in a PV format so that the PV samplers can read them and so forth. So uh, I wanted to kind of show how I do it. Um, pretty simple. You know, I mean, I've used DOS before, but I was never even comfortable with it back in the day. And so I'm always a little clunky when it, with it when I get into it. So um, bottom line, though, is this is just an old computer. I actually needed a system that had a dedicated three and a, you know, three and a half inch floppy drive. So um, somebody was giving this Optiplex away and it had no hard drive. So I spent 20 bucks to buy a hard drive for it, installed XP, and I'm, I'm in business. So it worked out pretty well. So... Um, you get the files, you unzip them, and essentially, I put the program on my C drive at the root. I call the the file uh, the folder is called SP Disk. Then you go into here, and I've got a folder I called Latin because I've got the one that the sample set I'm using is the Akai Latin set. I guess so this is, these samples are come from some collection, and it's a total as you can see of actually eight disks. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight of them. Um, so that said, I pop a disc into the floppy drive here and the first one of eight discs I will need. And then you run the program itself from SP disk. Well, actually you got to open up the command prompt. So you click start and I'm running windows XP. Um, it's a, I guess it's a 16 or 32 bit application. So if you try to run it under newer windows versions, the program will not operate. So you got to kind of open up your DOS screen, go to all programs, you go to accessories and then there's command prompt. So here's your, you're in this drive. So basically you go back to your C drive um, and I just, you know, sort of CD SP disk so that I'm in that folder. You type in directory and you know, of course you can see these are the files and I already worked out the path. So this is the syntax you want to try to follow when you try to figure out what exactly to type to get it to write. Um, so it's going to be basically you type in SP, or sorry, um, SP write space, then C colon, do the path including the file, make sure you include the extension. And you don't have to actually add the drive at the end of it, it'll tell you that you should, but you don't have to type in A colon or anything, it should just work. And so you hit enter. Thanks for a second. Drive does its thing. And the track starts to continue along. So it's gonna count through all 79 or so cycles and then it'll be complete. And then um, from there, you just sort of basically, you can hit the up arrow key on your keyboard to bring back the previous typed path like I did earlier and just alter the name from, you know, P11 to, you know, Latin P, LP11 to 12 and so on and so forth till you get all eight of them. And that's pretty much it. And then when you're done, when the drive is done counting off, you'll have yourself a PV friendly disc. I was able to pop it right into my SP plus and it read it and wrote to it, um, into the hard drive. So it was really cool. So um, yeah, it's great to see this. So I'm looking forward. I haven't done all of them. Uh, each of the collections are pretty large, so they all deal with, you know, anywhere between four to 12 floppy disks. And, you know, that's it. So yeah, so just rinse and repeat through all the other disks in your particular collection. Then you take that and load it in and you're good to go. So anyway, uh, pretty cool to see a little program like this still operating after all these years. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.